Ah, it's a beautiful day out in the beach where life has been really stressing me out lately and I could really use the beach to escape from the stresses of life. I'm ready to just go out and surf into that beautiful ocean and even meet those two men. Hey, how are you guys doing? Ah, oh, they look like they're having a lot of fun. Yeah, nothing can seriously go wrong. Oh my god! He got in! He got in! There's a fucking shark in that ocean! God, I'm getting the fuck out of this beach! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Shallows. So, The Shallows is directed by Hamid Colette Sierra, the same director that brought you the unofficial Liam Neeson trilogy, Unknown, Nonstop, Run All Night, and the film stars the beautiful and lovely Blake Lively. So, The Shallows is about this young woman named Nancy. She goes to the beach, you know, just to surf there and enjoy her time. It's a beach that her mother went to, so she's visiting where her mother used to surf. You know, things seem to be nice and normal until one day she encounters this shark. And it's because of this shark that she is literally stranded in the middle of the island. So it's up to Nancy to survive in this island and defeat the shark. So when I went to the shallows, I was very interested in this film. I thought it looked very intense from the trailer. I really, really liked the trailer. So the shallows looked very interesting, but I was kind of worried that I wouldn't really enjoy it because I haven't really been impressed with Hamid Collette's work other than non-stop. And after seeing The Shallows, I can happily say this is another film I actually really, really enjoy from Hamid Collette Sierra. Hamid Collette Sierra did a really good job directing this film. Like, oh my goodness, every shot in The Shallows looks beautiful when you just take a look at the ocean and the sunset every single shot looks fantastic shallows is very well directed it has beautiful imagery to it but it also is very very suspenseful i was at the edge of my seat for the majority of the shallows this film was so intense. And the only character you're following in this film is Nancy, played by Blake Lively. Blake Lively is really good in this film, and I'm sure it's a hard task for her to do because she basically had to carry this movie on her own. It's Blake Lively's movie when you really look at it, and I have to give Blake Lively huge props because it's really hard to carry a movie on your own. And Watching this movie, you can tell that Blake Lively really worked hard to carry this movie. She's a character that you want to see survive, and it gets pretty brutal because of how many times she gets hurt. Like, this character gets hurt a lot, and yet she's still fighting. She's still fighting just to survive and get out of the island. The thing that I really love about Blake Lively's character, Nancy, is that she's not stupid. Whereas for a lot of these shark movies, you always have to have stupid characters. But in this movie, no, she is actually very, very smart. Even when she does make a mistake, she'll be all like, okay, so that's not going to work out, so I'm going to try something else. Her character just thinks of what to do throughout the shallows. And that's one of the things that actually really impressed me. And I have to give huge credit to writer Anthony Hazywinski because he really wrote a strong female lead. And what I also really liked about this movie is actually the fact that Blake Lively actually has a little sidekick, the seagull. The seagull is basically what Wilson was to Tom Hanks in Castaway. The seagull, or should I say Steven Seagull, I like that he actually served a point to the story. The minute I saw the seagull, I had a feeling he was going to be the one that sticks by Blake Lively pretty much throughout, and I was correct, and I think that was actually a very smart decision. It's also a nice way to take a break from the very intense moments that happen throughout the film, and the climax is an absolute blast in this film. It is so 
awesome, so well filmed, so intense. And you're just rooting for Nancy because of how much she's been struggling on this island and you want her to get out of there and you want her to finally take the shark down once and for all. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, but how she takes the shark down is seriously awesome. It's ridiculous for sure but it was awesome. Now, when it comes to my flaws with The Shallows, however, I will say the first 20 minutes is pretty off-putting. Now, I didn't have a problem when she was like interacting with her younger sister. I actually thought that was a very good moment in the beginning of the film. My main problem with the first 20 minutes is the style because Hamid Khaled Sira, he makes the first 20 minutes look like a music video. Either a music video or like an ad. I felt like I was watching a mix of a YouTube ad and a music video while watching the first 20 minutes. It just felt so weird. The tone didn't feel consistent. The movie did feel tonally out of place for the first 20 minutes. And the music choices were just so weird. Like, it would have all these slow-mo shots and Blake Lively and the guy surfing. One minute the music is going up, then boom. The music going up, then boom. And then it would change to a different kind of music and I'm just all like, am I watching a movie where Blake Lively is fighting a shark or am I watching a YouTube ad? It felt so weird. There are characters in this film that are basically shark bait. Like, you know, the characters that are just there so they could get eaten by the shark. Yeah, that's another problem I had. And I will say when that does happen, it does take away some of the suspense of the shallows. There were a few times where I wasn't really at the edge of my sea because we can see moments like this coming. The movie does have some seriously dumb moments. Not all the time are there dumb moments, but just sometimes there are just certain scenes where I'm going, yeah, that wouldn't really happen. And the last problem I had with The Shallows is that the shark is very noticeable when it comes to the CGI. You don't see the shark a whole lot during this film and I think that's very cool honestly because it adds a lot to suspense like for a lot of the movie when someone does get killed by the shark you don't really see them get eaten you see Blake Lively's reaction and it's honestly very cool and like when the shark is far away it actually does look very good but when the movie does these very close-up shots of the shark you can really really tell that it is CGI and it does get very distracting at times when I have to look at that shark. Overall, you guys, The Shallows is a simple movie with a simple concept of a simple survival story. It's definitely the definition of a B-rated popcorn flick, and I'm going to give The Shallows three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think about The Shallows? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!